All right. In this um, video, we're going to look at how changes in income affect the consumer choice. Um, before we actually get into that too much, I want to show a little bit about the spreadsheet. So I am going to scroll down a bit here. Let's scroll down and then let's move this a little bit this way so you can see. We actually have three controls. Uh, we can change income, which is what we're concerned with. There is a control for representing changes in preference that I'll sp speak about a little bit later. And you can also select a relative price. In this case, we're actually taking the price of good Y to be 1, so the relative price is the price of good X. So those are your three controls. Now let's get back to the picture, and let's take a look at what's in the graph here. So I am going to change income a little bit and you can see what's being plotted. So the red dot represents the choice point on the given budget line. The red indifference curve here is the indifference curve through that choice point. There's a lower indifference curve indicated in blue and there's a higher indifference curve indicated in green and I better not do that. Um, and the dotted line represents the path of choices for the consumer as income varies. Now you can also vary price, so let me raise the price of X and see what happens here. Oops, that's varying the preference parameter. Let's raise the price of X, and the budget line should move in. I'll do it more dramatically. So you can raise the price of X, or you can lower the price of X. There we go, and here's even more dramatic. And that changes the whole path here. This thing is called the income consumption path or the income consumption curve. It shows how the consumer's choice changes with respect to income. If an increase in income raises the um, consumption of a good, the good is called normal. Let's see if we have that down here. So we have um, bring that into play. A normal good is one where consumption increases with income. An inferior good is one where consumption, uh, this should say, decreases with income. Consumption decreases with income. Let's change that. Decreases. And a luxury good or a superior good is one which is strongly normal. The income elasticity is greater than one. Okay, so let's go back here, and now let's see if we can illustrate what an inferior good looks like in this picture. I'm now going to change this preference parameter, and um, the preference parameter has got the signal D, and I'm going to make it pretty positive. When it's negative, both goods are normal. When it's positive, like this, good X becomes inferior. And in fact, if I make the relative price lower, I think I'm making it even more inferior. So now what is happening as I increase income, moving along the income consumption path, I'm actually... Um, still spending more money. I'm spending my income, but I'm buying less of good X. I'm buying more of good Y. Uh, the one last thing we would like to look at in here is this other graph, which is the relationship of income and consumption of good X directly. This blue line is called the angle curve for X, and let's see if I can create movement on the angle curve by increasing income. As I move income up, the choice point changes, and I move along the angle curve. This is the line from the origin to the curve that helps you think about the income elasticity, and the angle curve shows the relationship of um, income to consumption of good X. So there you are.